On the 24th of May 2010, André Borschberg, a former Swiss Air Force pilot, made his first flight with the Solar Impulse. His job was to test the plane's structure and its electric motors. He told us what it was like to fly the plane, which has the wingspan of a Boeing 747 and the weight of a small car. Unique, it's because it's uh, very first very light. So uh, you feel every turbulence, you feel every movement of the atmosphere in the airplane. The second also, it's very large wingspan. So all the turns are done with very small inclination. Garde l'axe, André, tu restes garde l'axe. We get used to, to fly very fine and uh, be patient because everything happens in a very slow motion. Bushberg is now in training for the night flight. Up to now, in the test flights, we're very happy because the plane meets the expectations. But now we have to see on the long run when the airplane is at 27,000 feet, 8,500 meters, with minus 40 degrees, will the insulation of the batteries be enough? Will all the electronic work correctly? Will we have enough energy in the morning to continue the flight? This is a big question mark and this is what makes this summer really exciting. 25 hours, it's, a, it's an experience. I mean, there are few aircraft which can fly so long with only one pilot on board, so it's a, going to be a discovery. One of the safety measures that we have is uh, uh, vibrating sleeves that we have on our jacket, developed by EPFL and Omega, and this is going to vibrate to alert the pilot if the airplane bangs too much on the left or on the right. The airplane starts with solar energy already in the battery. Then when the plane takes off, it reaches the sunrise. The pilot can switch on the solar generator and get enough energy to climb to its maximum altitude and at the same time fill the batteries to the top. During the night, the airplane will leave its maximum altitude of 8,500 meters to go down to 1,000 500 meters. The descent will take a few hours uh, using hardly any electrical energy, normally totally electricity neutral, um, maybe reaching uh, 1,500 meters or 5,000 feet about uh, 10 or 11 p.m. Yeah. So at about sunset time or shortly after sunset time. And then uh, the airplane will be flown horizontally for the rest of the night. So if everything goes well, we arrive to the next morning with just enough energy to capture the sun that will come again and make the following day, proving that we're able to stay forever in the air.